வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசீவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் இமான் அஸ்லாம் வலைக்கும் வலைக்கும் அஸ்லாம் யா சோ யூ ஹேவ் டு சே समथिंग ஆர் யூ ஹேவ் எனி क्वेश्चन நோ ஐ வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் லிசனிங் யா so the thing actually uh, the story from adam to noha is totally belongs to mother colony and when you read chapter 49 verse 13 there is a uh, shuba wa kabail shuba means different different profession like how uh, ant colony uh, where uh, adam had many children as per the christian uh, theological they say 64 children and each children were given different 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 profession and uh, one of the profession is administration so when you look into the kemite uh, civilization you will find a pyramid where pharaoh is there and then lots of uh, different different rank uh, department of works you will find it so this is what the quran chapter 49 verse uh, 13 is talking about shuba and then when the when the population of this those uh, uh, shuba or department of work increase so from all the ranks all the department they make another colony this becomes a tribe so that's what this quran is talking about shuba wa kabail but when you read uh, the trans the mistake means they are the, they 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 have done uh, what you say you cannot say it's a mistake it's uh, purposely they have put nation and tribe but the word is not nation it is actually shuba wa kabail so mother colony adam and eve first human and first human their children were divided into different 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 profession that uh, verse is connected with the kemite civilization and and, and uh, pyramids built across the globe they are all mother i mean wherever these uh, colonies spread they built pyramids so and that's the reason why pyramids you will find the same similar construction you will find connected with orion belt and everything and then uh, uh, and then the, we come to the timeline of noha and uh, no, after noha we have ham sham and jafat and the china the tamil people chapter 11 verse 48 talks about a certain people who will build civilization again and then they will have a painful torment so like all the civilization from gopikle tepe abu huraira mari aram elamite uh, sumerian then indus valley baluchistan these are all tamil civilization and family of ibrahim live under the, under their administration and when uh, after mahabharat uh, that is uh, the, pa- the the wo- internal war among the pandians which took place from abu huraira you will find a uh, uh, radioactive material over there and in the same thing we will find in indus valley radioactive material so we, ca- we there is a conclusion that as a nuclear uh, uh, blast was taken place and this which, which reduced the pandian uh, colony and then the, around 3000 bc uh, and at and around the same period uh, 7000 5000 bc uh, shri krishna prophesies about the greater kali yuga in uh, kemite civilization or a tamil civilization we have just two yugas means the f- f- like the, most of the europeans they talk about four yuga four ages four age like how ice from ice age how they evolved and became civilized but in uh, tamil tradition or in kemite civilization we have only two 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 ages one ages of satyugam or sangam era where uh, they lived in uh, advanced civilization with good king and bad king this is what the comparison of yuga is there but shri krishna is talking about greater kaliyugam a long period of uh, bad rulers who are going to come from the land of uh, turkey to tamil nadu and they will pro- prolong the bad administration for a long period of time and the same thing is mentioned in the daniel chapter 7 which talks about the four beastly regime the romans the persians third is coming after prophet muhammad fourth is also coming after prophet muhammad so prophet muhammad united uh, the natives and he fought against the roman empire persian empire and uh, and and after uniting all the black people from africa from middle east from india and they fought against the roman empire persian empire and uh, later on uh, the the middle east people basically the people living in iran iraq turkey uh, syria lebanon jordan palestine these are all settlers they are not the native of that land they may be mixed some may be mixed but uh, they have lost their history and now when uh, final exodus takes place so again the family of ibrahim uh, property will be given back to them and uh, and and since uh, the people living there they don't want to give the land so this is what the uh, conflict is all about so now these people they want to convert everyone so that they can be protect, protected means the middle east people can be protected but the uh, quran chapter 5 verse 82 uh, very well says that the, the jew and the priestly cult 
they will uh, be uh, the most uh, enmity towards the believers believers refers to family of ibrahim and the and the native people so the settlers referring to the muslim world they will be uh, <coughs> biggest enemy of the native people whereas the christian world uh they, uh, they will uh, be uh, nearer to believers because among them there are monks and they are not arrogant so when you look into the comparison between the muslim world and the uh, christian world in among christian world you will find some people who are spiritual but whereas the muslim world is concerned they are living they have a stiff neck uh, means they are stiff neck and they are living in a superiority complex and they will and you will you will note that no muslim will ever talk about quran and uh, and about the prophet muhammad and they will only fight over the khilafat system which abu bakar ali aisha and all that and and how and just today i, I listen that uh, uh, prophet muhammad uh, killed some uh, umar's uh, some some daughter of that so these these are these are all stories which uh, the caucasian settlers disguised as shia sufi sunni wahhabi are spreading across uh, middle east and uh, in the name of islam they are trying to destroy the uh, real islam which is which quran reminds about about uh, spiritualism about kul devam ag- about uh, re- remembering the ancestors about the sacrifice at uh, their their respective uh, kul devam or ancestral and then uh, y- yoga meditation then uh, uh, kundalini chakra seven chakras and conscious of god meditation yoga and then about khilaf khalifa system which uh, sangam era talks about uh, in the uh, olden all the tribal uh, tribal system they have a system where all the tribe and colony they get together and they take active part in administration all the clan and whatever the resources uh, which the mother earth has given they used to share with each other this is how the ancient tradition tribal culture used to live so this is actually what the quran is talking about we have to change the angle of when we read quran we have to we, we don't have to just talk about god and the last day but there is a history also and that history belongs to Uh, the mother colony that is uh, tamil nadu and about the family of ibrahim and uh, judaism christianity shia sufi sunni wahhabi these are religions started by the caucasian settlers and they have got nothing to do with torah gospel or quran so if people understand and you may be of any bloodline but uh, at the end of the day you the, the in chapter 7 verse uh, 172 allah has taken testimony with everyone so if you are conscious of god your genetical memories will remind you and uh, and uh, chapter 7 the verse 172 to 174 clearly states that don't say tell that uh, nobody came to you allah has uh, given you the uh, taken a testimony with every each individual human being and when you do meditation that uh, genetical memory will remind you and you will be conscious of god and then if possible you can also become image of god and uh, then uh, bring peace and harmony in the uh, Uh, society religion will never bring uh, peace and harmony in society religion disconnects people from from god from the land it only make it divides people so that uh, people can kill each other in the name of religion so religion is not uh, and uh, torah gospel quran is basically a reminder for family of ibrahim do you think the prophet muhammad uh, practiced meditation the way you you understand this yes if uh, the uh, when uh, because all the tradition way of life most of the saint or uh, siddhas they used to go to cave and they used to do what they used to do meditation so when uh, prophet muhammad before getting enlightenment he used to sit in a uh, cave and do meditation similarly when you go to uh, history of gautam buddha he was a prince and then he left his uh, kingdom and he went to a jungle and then he, then he did meditation and he got enlightenment and chapter 15 verse 87 allah says about seven of repeated so that uh, that refers to the seven kundalini chapter 24 verse 35 talks about pineal gland the third eye and uh, and prophet muhammad did that only meditation and uh, and uh, and then we have a juma a day a juma, a juma means a get together uh, day behind elected minister elected uh, khalifa so that's leave your trade and go there and attend because uh, maybe some uh, policies will be made which will uh, will which will not benefit the uh, colony this is what the suraj jumma is talking about so nowhere see priestly cult is not there in islam there we don't need any mediator between you into you and god because god has taken testimony with you not through any why he doesn't need anyone he has taken testimony with each and individual individual that everyone has the same material whether it be prophet whether it be anyone we have uh, uh, earthly material 
we have uh, DNA and we have the particle of God. We are three in one. So, so if you can understand, we can if we keep this balance among the these three things and uh, try to get uh, spiritually connected with God, God, Allah guides whom He wills. So the guidance is available. It's only and and uh, when uh, there is a argument between uh, Lucifer and God. Uh, Lucifer is saying, I will come from front, I will come from right and left and behind. But there is only one way to get connected with God, that is through meditation and through uh, direct towards God. So mediator is not there in Islam. We can get connected with our ancestors, we can get connected with God, we can get connected with uh, uh, genetical memories which are there. And uh, Allah has taken testimony with everyone. So, so everyone has the testimony. So we, it's, it's, that's why Quran is called a reminder. It's not a book of conversion. It's a reminder. Everyone has. Everyone is. That's why uh, whether Prophet Muhammad has entertained Roman Empire, Persian Empire, that's, that doesn't make any sense because uh, Quran is reminding them about the testimony which everyone had during the timeline of Adam. So every every we are all children of Adam, and we are having the testimony with God. Yeah, I agree with you. He was practicing meditation before. Uh, before the revelation and even after but the uh, the, pr the problem I have is um, if you're saying that meditation should replace um, the prayer that we know as Muslims then this is the problem but if you say that we have prayer and then meditation is something that's extra or you know just additional then that's okay but I think in your case you don't believe in the prayer the way Muslims practice it right yes yes the, the thing is with, uh, in all the tradition way of life whether it be China Africans we follow the concept of healthy mind and healthy body and to do healthy body for healthy body you you have to do some exercise and that exercise whether it be silamba martial art or uh, yoga or you look into all the traditional way of life since china has never been invaded by any outsiders because india has been invaded africa has been invaded america uh, south america america has been invaded australia has been invaded so they have lost their tradition way of life but china China is still practicing their traditional way of life. So you see this uh, stick fight. They are doing meditation. They are talking about uh, seven kundalini, uh, yin and yang concept. So everything is uh, they are having practicing. And Allah has given the status of superpower today, China and Japan. And because and and if religious was the uh, uh, because religious disconnect people. And see, if, you, if you see China, they are persecuting church and mosque. They are, if people who have converted, they are reprogramming them. So if, if they were doing something evil, Allah would not give, Allah would have punished them. So religious is not uh, the correct way. Regarding namaz, the short namaz, which people are doing. So all, all the Muslim agree that uh, before Prophet Muhammad, there was a big namaz, big salat, a big rakat, or asanas. So, based on Burak Hadith, based on Burak Hadith, uh, and that Burak Hadith concept is taken from Jurastrism. So, when the Prophet Muhammad, Miraj is mentioned in Quran, means Isra is mentioned from, uh, our, from Mecca to Jerusalem and its adjoining area. This is what Quran is talking about, chapter 17, verse 1. But regarding Miraj, when uh, Prophet Muhammad went up, he saw everyone and he saw different different prophet. Ultimately, he met Moses and four or five times he up, went up and down reducing the asanas or uh, rakat of the namaz. But uh, sister, you know very well that chapter 23 verse 99 talks about alam e barzak. Nobody is in heaven, nobody is in hell. So all those stories uh, mentioned in uh, Burak Hadith is a, it's a contradiction. Chapter 23 verse 99 says, when the dead approaches to one of them, uh, the, when the soul is taken above, material, the, the body will go to earth, the soul will be taken up, the soul will uh, talk to God that send me back, I will uh, do some good deed. Allah says, you stay there, it's a alam -e barzak is there, you stay there until the day of resurrection and when uh, on the day, of the, the day of judgment, when your scale is heavy or light, that's what Quran is talking about in chapter 23 verse 99. So, no, so now, right now, whoever is dead, they are their soul is in alam e barzak no one is there in heaven no one is there in hell so whatever yeah, prophet, of, yeah whatever of course, all muslims agree on this but all what, what the hadith talks this. about he met so many prophets so many people in hell saw so many people in heaven so many people in hell he met yeah, a, yeah. yeah but 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 you're missing something you're missing something that's that thing there is no contradiction because the time in in that world 
is not the same time, you know, the relativity of of time in physics. The time in that world, that world is not this world. We all agree on this, you know, the world where Allah is, is not the same universe, is not the same physical material universe we are in. So just logically, yeah. if that happened, so it's in, in a different time, um, time, space, you know, uh, place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so there, there is no contradiction. Yeah, this could that, be that, a parallel universe or something like that. The same, same hadith. Uh, class, the same. He, he, he saw the future. He didn't see uh, the present. That future didn't happen yet. So but he, he saw it. So he met Moses, you mean to say? And Moses requested him uh, five times that you go up and down and reduce the uh, rakats of the no, namaz? No, no, uh, no. In, yeah, you're right about uh, some of the specifics. I don't agree with them because so it doesn't a, make sense. It's contradiction. So, but, but, yeah, Quran, yeah, the Quran doesn't, doesn't talk about sense, mirage. The, Quran the, the doesn't global, talk about the, the global idea that uh, he could have seen the future, uh, it's not a contra contradiction. Yeah, that's uh, we can uh, we can uh, assume, but uh, what but regarding what the Borak Hadith talks about, and there's one more contradiction over there, uh, that about about the Borak, and then when he, when he went to Jerusalem, he tied the horse. There, all the prophets uh, came and they prayed two rakat namaz. So when the namaz is not shortened, how can they pray two rakat? You're getting the point. So everyone. Uh, uh, can you repeat? I couldn't understand. Can you repeat? See, uh, the hadith talks about when he reached uh, Jerusalem and uh, and there again uh, uh, Jibril presented him some uh, with some some uh, food and then later on he he prayed in Jerusalem and with all the prophets behind him this is what the hadith talks about and uh, yeah yeah so but how is it possible because the, when the, the 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 rakat of the namaz is big and uh, only after that, only small rakat came into existence. After that, hadith only. So how can Prophet Muhammad uh, do small namaz? That's also there. And then, then uh, on the in that hadith, uh, it says that Prophet Muhammad was cut open from uh, neck to uh, uh, abnormal, and he was his heart, everything was clean with zamzam water, and then wisdom was poured into it. Is this the way to get wisdom? Gautam Buddha, when he left his kingship and he went to the forest. No, no such thing happened that he was cut open and the wisdom was poured into that. Third eye enlightenment is totally different. And the, since the Muslim world who are from, from bloodline of Cain, they don't, they are not aware of spiritualism. So they have come out with all this uh, concept of wisdom. Wisdom comes from God. And if you activate your third eye, you you will get, so that's what chapter 24, 35 talks about. When the light which is there in you, it get connected with the supreme light. It becomes nur ala nur. That enlightenment takes place. So this is how the wisdom comes into existence. But what the hadith says, when Prophet was small, just find out how many times was Prophet Muhammad was cut open and was wisdom was poured into him. I think three or four times it was happened. When when he was small, when he was gone before Miraj, and this is how, how wisdom was given to Prophet Muhammad. It's a mockery to Prophet Muhammad. You're getting the point. This is not the way yeah. ancient tradition people were doing. No, see, we all we all the tradition way of life, whether it be Chinese, whether it be African, whether it be Indian, they were all know about the th third eye awakening. Third eye awakening, everyone knows, and that's the only way to do meditation. When you do meditation, we get uh, third eye awakening. But since uh, the, your, the Muslim world are basically, uh, they don't know anything about uh, spiritualism. Even if they know, they will never accept spiritualism. So they came, come up with all those vague, 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 vague ideas and which they now they want to propagate it in the name of Prophet Muhammad. But uh, Quran doesn't uh, accept all that. Yeah, uh, before you said something about China or Japan, I don't know, the wind what they are doing and they said if they are wrong then uh, God would have punished them but this is wrong you know why because even in the Quran we have verses that say uh, the time the time of punishment some people are punished in in this life but some people some people's punishment is delayed to another uh, another appointment set already by by God. So the fact that you are doing something wrong or a country is doing something wrong for years and is not punished, even it's getting more successful in this life, doesn't imply and doesn't mean that they yes. are yes. they are uh, 
doing something. Yeah, they are yeah, not uh, yeah, against uh, God. Yeah, actually, uh, there is a verse in Quran which says that uh, since uh, Allah is because uh, the the mizan or balance, spiritualism and materialism. So the tradition way of life of all the ethnic society, they have they ha they know how to keep the balance between material and spiritual. But there are certain people who don't know anything about spiritualism, and they have uh, made materialism as their means of uh, life, and and that's where that's where the religious aspect uh, comes into existence. Now, India, Columbus wanted to reach India to do what? To do trade. Remember that because India is a manufacturing unit and it used to uh, trade with all the if you read the Pandian administration and Pandian uh, trade uh, agreement with all those people you will, we will come to know. So, so when Columbus wanted to reach India, he went to America there he found the red Indians not the black Indians. So he genocide those people and uh, this is and then Vasco de Gama re reached India. So this is what uh, the history tells us why India is into manufacturing. And then later on the African people were also manufacturing. So, but both this country, whether it be India, Africa, they have left their tradition way of life and they have adopted religion. That is, a, and Allah clearly says in the Quran that if you leave my part, I will substitute with you, with your another people and they will not be like you. So, since the African, the Indian are the black people. They have been substituted. They have become a slave on their own land. And uh, all that uh, gl glory and uh, thing has been taken away from God. And they have been substituted with another people. And another, another people is China and Japan. There you will find meditation. They, will, they will are doing their tradition way of life. And they are persecuting religion. Because religion has got nothing to do with spiritualism. And since regarding the bloodline of Cain, uh, they, they had no prophet, they had no warner. And when Prophet Muhammad came, uh, the Roman and the Persian, they rejected it. And Quran prophesies that uh, the Christian world will uh, accept uh, the tradition way of life. Whereas the Muslim world, the, the Caucasian settlers, they are stiff-necked people. They will not understand the uh, Because it's quite natural actually, Iman. When an uh, invader invades a country, it's quite natural they will make the native as slave. So this is what has happened in Middle East and in, in, in India. The invaders, because in India you see we have uh, Mughal Empire, we have Sultans, we have uh, Roman Empire, then we had uh, East India Company. So all this uh, European colonization, so all these people they came and they exploited us, they took away our goods. Like a spider web, we are all being uh, stuck in a spider and they are sucking our blood. This is what is actually happening in India. But, and, and, uh, and, and we are now following their way of life. Whoever is a slave of uh, East India Company are called Christian. Wh whoever are the slaves of uh, uh, Ottoman Empire, they are called Sufi. Sufi. Whoever is a uh, slave of East India means uh, Persian, they are called Shia. So these are Shia, Sunni, Sufi, Wahhabi organization in India. They are, and that's the Quran uh, chapter 2 verse 120 says now, the, Pers the Jews and the Christians will never be satisfied with you until you follow their way of life. What is their way of life? Anti-spiritual policy. Because our country is not ruled by arms and ammunition. If they had come with arms and ammunition, we are 70% of the population of India are black people. And they, we, and they, they would have uh, fought and they would have defeated those handful of people. But uh, our people are being uh, ruled by policies which are anti to spiritualism and 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 how to corrupt uh, how to eat the soul of individual this is how it, how we are being pushed into the age of untouchability and that's the reason why quran is telling that because of selfishness contumacy our leaders have become selfish and uh, for some uh, material gain they are uh, favoring the uh, uh, europeans or the caucasian settlers and uh, and the tribal chief Control the head and you control the body. This is what is happening. And the religious is only corrupting people. So China, when you look into the China, uh, they, their land has never been invaded by outs, uh, Caucasians or uh, Europeans. And uh, the, only the th th Taiwan border areas has been invaded. And uh, China is seeing to that uh, the religious people don't enter in their country. And those who have converted... Uh, they are, the mosque and the church has been uh, reduced to dust and the people who have converted are being uh, sent to uh, detention center where they have been reprogrammed uh, to become uh, Chinese first and then 
and uh, getting back to the spiritualism not to religion so this is what is happening in china and and allah allah says in quran i will substitute with you with another people and they will not be like you so, so today the global trade partners is china not india and uh, african people you're getting the point so everything runs around trade materialism so actually one who wants to know and the traditional way of life is to how to keep the balance between spiritual and material that's why why quran says set the mizan set the balance set the balance too much of spiritualism is also bad too much of materialism is also bad so we have to have a certain balance between uh, these two concepts hope you got the answer i don't i I understand that you have your own interpretation of the verses, but I don't agree that uh, yeah. because someone else can come and, and, and give us another interpretation of that verse and says there is another people who have been changed and put in those place and it's not that. This is a, this is a really um, complicated territory when we try to our way of understanding reality and then we say it's this is what's meant by this verse and not uh, i find this very difficult to, to do yeah it will take time and uh, but we keep on reading the quran and if you have in take how uh, kevin brother came and he are asking question because in one day you will not understand what i'm trying to talk but if you keep uh, 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 get, if you have any doubt question ask and you go to your respective uh, 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 sectors or uh, other, other scholars and try to find out so this is what uh, you will if they, if if there is any uh, means if there is a dispute we can have I, i'm ready to change if uh, i'm i'm a, i'm a still a student i am ready to change if i people can correct me i'm uh, i'm open to for a change oh, i know i know you so i'm just uh, yes because they, see ultimately see ultimately what why i'm doing this i'm not doing for myself for some material again i'm doing it because whatever god has given me uh, through quran and true about the history so whatever guidance i have got and this thing is what i say is not there in any of the scholars scholarly work which the shia sunnis they they claim there that their scholars are saying no nowhere you are going to find this so it's a, it's a total yeah this question yeah, yeah this question i wanted to ask you is there is there a scholar or a book that has these different views no 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 Okay, so you are just one person, yes, one I person in billions who has these views, right? Yes, yes. And what makes you, what makes you think that you are right and uh, the other, the others are wrong? Just curious. Yes, see, uh, for me, all this information I had long back when uh, I had a chance to work with Dr. Zakir Naik. and uh, and there were madina university uh, ulamas who were working with him so all those doubts and uh, clarity because since i don't know arabic i don't know anything uh, i'm just a simple ordinary man and uh, when i started doing my research on quran and uh, whatever i got from quran and from my ancestors and everything everything i came, i went when i was working for 8 month in zakir naik uh, office i made a booklet what i am talking today i i gave gave one booklet to dr shoeb dr zakir naik and there were other uh, uh, madina university ulamas who were working were coming from there and i used to have a discussion with them and no one has ever told me that you are wrong and it took me more than uh, to realize that i am right it took me more than 15 20 years so just recently uh, one and a half years back i made a video uh, quran leads to tamil shiva that was a interview and after that only i started making videos so and most of the time i never used to go in public because uh, i only t- I, i only i spoke with all this dawa organization all these uh, uh, different different uh, uh, scholars uh, with uh, uh, like uh, uh ali hadith chief is uh, muqtar nadwi so i had a discussion then v abdul rahim the uh, he is from manembadi uh, south india and he is a he is a chief of uh, printing press in uh, madina madina uh, in uh, king fahad uh, printing press uh, v abdul rahim you must be knowing knowing his name just check it out i had a discussion but these people they never ever told me that i am wrong they were only silent so now what conclusion yeah, i get yeah 
What can what, yes. what, what what can I conclude? But now I am going coming in public action. No, you can't. No, you, you can't conclude from from a couple of people. Who are they? I mean, who are they? In it's not like you talk to a prophet or something. It's just also my point here is not to tell you that you are wrong or not. That's not my point. Mm -hmm. I'm just. Uh, no, but but actually, I should be confident enough whether I'm right or wrong. But since these people are they they have this uh, uh, degree and everything, so I had a I had a chance to consult with them. So, and uh, whatever the information was there, I kept it with me. And then later on, uh, uh, because these these words are heavy and uh, and you cannot uh, keep it uh, like uh, I'll become a lunatic. So I I then later on I through uh, Facebook. Then to WhatsApp, then to uh, social media, uh, this uh, YouTube channel, and now Clubhouse. I'm there and uh, talking about. I'm I'm ready to change if some scholars come and we have a discussion, but not way like uh, like most of the Muslims. They will just give fatwas that you are wrong, you are kafir, you are this, you are that. They will not discuss on the uh, the Quranic verses because I'm more interested in Quranic verses, not uh, their uh, fatwas actually. So if I'm ready to uh, change if people are coming and having an dis open discussion. So I should learn from them and they should learn from me. So uh, both way this uh, conversation should be. Prolonging due to four basically regime disguised as Muslim world. Satyugam possible.